Welcome to the Keith and the Girl After Show. We're so excited about today's guest, who was quite a roller coaster ride, usually with emotions. Mm-hmm. Please welcome Frank Liotti. Hi, I am. Oh my God, even just the hello. Hi, wait, I am. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> it's like he has a good time and then he remembers that life is terrible and yeah. he goes back into it. It is his, terrible. Yeah, there it's we go. horrible and it's not fair. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I am nervous about this. Uh, he sees. He sees more movies than I do. What did yeah, you say? Yeah, but said? there's an era, there's like a huge chunk of time that I don't know. I'm not going to say what era that would be. Right. Well, I decided that because he usually goes out for like mob movies as an actor and usually has to do shoot 'em ups and stuff, mm-hmm. those are the kinds of movies that I'm going to be watching right now. So if you know the movie of the trailer that I'm watching, shout it out. So okay, shoot it out, and <laughs> you have a leg up on this one because I try not to see these movies. Oh, really? Do they? Well, they're you? offensive. <laughs> I uh, ding one point me. <laughs> I can tell that I'm gonna win already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So the first uh, round is worth one point. Second round two points. Third round three points. All right. Yes. Ready? Ready? When you are. Mm-hmm. Okay. This first one came out in 1993. False. It is rated R. Okay. And it's from Universal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Casino. There's a man in, in a courtroom. He's got a beard. He's wearing a suit, obviously. Um, he now is very happy outside with his friend um, because they must have got away with it. Um, he's Devil's in, advocate. He's in uh, his club, and there's a, a safe in the wall that he's putting money away in. It's raining now. and Casino. He's, uh, sorry, I mean, uh, good, good fellas. Nope. He's across on a rooftop looking into a window and there are ballerinas in there. Um, now he's, this is, I've, I've seen this. This is one of the ballerinas. He's just like, hey, and she's like, oh my God, it's you. And now they're dancing. Carlito's what? That's right. Never saw it. Took you too long, as far as I'm concerned. I don't see movies like this. This is the worst possible genre to give me. <laughs> Should I have done like, it's like saying to a black person, we're going to show you black exploitation films, even though you hate them, and even though they're offensive. Like, there's another one coming out. I saw a preview last night about, like, the smart black guy and the dumb Italian who drives him around, and it's Viggo Mortensen. Of course, it's not even an Italian actor. They do that to my people constantly. Well, Thank God City College still considers us people of color, because we are, and it's still okay to shit on us. That's why I don't watch these movies. Let's go. Well, here's the second round of stereotyping Frank Liotti. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's 1-0. <laughs> um, I'm pressing play. This is what year is this? It's rated R. That's mm-hmm. first of all. Of course, get you guys there are Italians in it. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia! Uh, Savoy Pictures. Okay, I'll tell you, this is a long time. Oh, 1993 was it the release date? Again? Yes. Um, so <laughs> it's so funny. These two guys are talking. One is younger. One is older. Now cut to he's a little kid and he Godfather sees two. he sees um, Three, four, a Bronx someone tale? get killed. Yes. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Bronx tale. You done bitching over there? Well, no, he's in prison. You, but the adult. But you're done with the, oh my God, yeah, I don't I'm know Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. It's all right. All right. Okay. It's two to one. You're winning, Frank. No, it's not. Where's the two? Of course not. Life is terrible. <laughs> <and> <laughs> I didn't earn it. (laughs) Why is the second round two points? That's the way we play. Now, this is worth three points. Oh, shit. So whoever gets this one. Oh, I like this round. (laughs) (laughs) It's my favorite round. But I didn't spend energy on the second one. So now I'm all... Oh, shit. Hungry. This is 1983. Okay. Here we go. All right, there's a guy talking, he's sitting and talking, he's looking up at people around him, but we don't see those people yet. It seems like he's being interrogated. Um, Good fellas. So somebody's writing things down on the clipboard behind him, he seems very cocky. I think he has, um, oh, never mind, I can't say that. Okay, and- 83, you said? 83. 83. Very cocky, he's still talking. This whole trailer is just him sitting in in a seat talking. With attitude. And now nothing's happened. Okay. Now I think some people are walking together out of somewhere. Oh, it it looks like, oh, riots. Reservoir dogs. No. Riots. People are climbing a fence. People are um, hitting people with bats. Uh, The same dude is just kind of watching. Now they're outside of a club. Now they're by a pool. He's holding his suit jacket. Um... That's it. He's just walking and talking with someone. There's a, a woman taking an elevator that you could see through. 
Um, he's wearing, I think, a Michael Jackson jacket for a second. But that was like really a split second. Oh, my God. Is that what's her face? It is. Holy shit. I can't tell you who that is. <laughs> but I did not know she was in a mob movie. <clears throat> um, she was Catwoman for a second. Who else? Um, later on in life, she was Catwoman for a second. Um, what does for a second mean? Well, she was Catwoman in one of the movies. Mm -hmm. okay. You mean the movie? I don't know. Okay. I don't know how many cat women there were. So. 17. Uh, they're driving a car. His, um, there's like a zebra print on his uh, car seat. Um, now he's just talking to that woman by the Swordfish. By the they're counting money with a money counter. Some guy is cracking up on the phone. Um, not much else is going to happen. This is so funny that you guys don't know it yet. I know who the Catwoman probably is, but I still don't know it. Don't tell Keith, because then he's going to figure it out. Halle mm -hmm. Berry. No, it's not Halle Berry. Mm -mm. Um, he's in a jacuzzi, a bubble bath jacuzzi. Oh. Now they're coming out of a wedding. You're talking about Sean Young, right? Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> she was in a Catwoman movie. I mean, she was, in a, she was a Catwoman in a movie. God, I hope I'm right about that. Okay. I don't know. Um, is she right about that? No, but I know who it is. Wow. Who is it? Kim Bessinger. No. I'm wrong. See? Okay. Don't let names throw you. Okay. <laughs> or uh, descriptions. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. They're on silk sheets. She's rolling over. He's wearing suspenders. He's going through glass doors. There's a blimp. World is yours. Oscar? Across the, the blimp. Machine guns are now being fired. Oh, at big, a big Z. Bugsy. Nighthawks. Nope. And nope. Uh, that's the end of the fucking trailer. Nighthawks. That's older than 83. I'll tell you, screenplay by Oliver Stone. Music by Giorgio Marauder. Oh. Uh, executive producer, Louis A. Stroller. Director of photography, John A. Alonzo. Okay. Giorgio Marauder, so it's like... Uh -huh. okay. Unbelievable. You guys named everything. Is it Less uh -huh. than zero? I'll tell you Al Pacino. Oh. Uh, I figured that because there's only two of Pacino's them. Pacino's way. A uh, Scarface. That's right. Whoa. I've never seen it. Okay. Don't know Michelle her. Pfeiffer. Yes. Yeah. Was she not Catwoman? I think she was. Okay. Thank you. All right. This is like the only Catwoman I know. What other Catwoman? Woo! I won! Oh, yeah, Holly you Berry. Are. I, Woo! Yeah, the, I don't watch those movies, Scarface. Woo! You're straight. Gay people don't give a shit about Scarface. Woo! Is that where you're going now? Scarface, he, really? He won because he's straight. Woo! He's also Cuban. We're doing mafia movies. Woo! They don't see me for Hispanics because I'm not a quote unquote Woo! person of color. You think they would give a shit what your background they is? They do. They do? They took away love, valor, compassion from me because I'm not a person of color. That's why I'm so miserable. They don't see me for Hispanics or white roles. And I hear people complain. I'm like, fuck you. Uh -huh. Italians are lost. It's really bad. It's so PC. It's disgusting. What kind of roles do you want? Just men. Just people. I don't want it to just be like, I didn't go to all these fucking schools to be a mafia dude once every seven years. What's your mafia dude sound like? Look it up. I don't want to do that. It's really? On, yeah, it's Law and Order. What is it called? Can you turn it on and off like I can turn on my Israeli accent? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So if you, do you ever, you ever bring it to bed? What do you mean? Like, does anyone ever ask you to like get into character in bed like give me your cannoli but with an accent no 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 okay. no. <laughs> no that's like gene simmons keeping the makeup on no <laughs> i mean i've been asked to speak in the hebrew accent in bed really yeah it bugs me out because sometimes if i show if him, I'm maybe kidding, he'll be more comfortable <laughs> if i'm kidding around sometimes people i can tell that someone will like it oh yeah yeah and then they want more Suck my dick you fucking slut you know that kind of thing fucking swallow you fucking bitch do you enjoy doing that no uh, that's so do you feel funny. like you're selling out? That's so funny. Do I feel like I'm selling out? No, I totally sell out if the money was good. I'm not gonna go do some some shitty role like that for a hundred bucks, right. you know. But if the money's amazing, what are you gonna do? Serve artichoke dip or play a stereotype? Play right. a stereotype. You can't tell me no one doesn't sound like that. You know what I mean? Right. That is so, true as well. So who cares? It's just when it's written by like a white guy and it's always the same fucking thing. And now in the PC era, when it's still okay to just shit on this group of people. Right. When everybody else is the smarter one. After a while, it's exhausting. Right. It really, really is. It really is painful. Institutionalized Italian hating. Yeah, it's painful. Pizza's so good, but we keep treating you like shit. Mm -hmm. right. I, I think we should end now because we got to end like on a low note so Frank could feel comfortable. <laughs> well, anyway, let's focus on what's important. Okay. I won. The game is great. You won.
And Good one. Congratulations. Definitely, definitely tell your friends about this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically. Uh, hit subscribe. Leave a comment. We'll talk to you soon. Bucket Thank you. Scarface. Keith and the girl.com.